He's been touring the country with his amazing interactive magic for over a decade. Uh, TJ is based north of Pittsburgh, PA. In 2016, he was voted Magician of the Year by the International Brotherhood of Magicians, his own peers. He has headlined the famous Borgata Host Hotel and Casino and Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. He has amazed celebrities like Christina Aguilera, the Black Eyed Peas, and the late Robin Williams. Running music, sound effects, and production for the show is Missy Thomas. And these two have performed over 200 dates at about over 30 fairs and festivals. And he is represented by David Ugar Productions in R614. Are you ready? Put your hands together for Magic Man TJ Hill. Cool. Yo, thanks for the awesome introduction. That was wonderful. Once again, my name is TJ Hill. I am a magician. That means I'm a jish. That's what I do. I don't know if that's a verb or not, but that's going to be our verb for this evening. So, how many of you guys have seen some of my magic before? Be honest, show of hands. We got Troy in the house back there. We got a lot of cool ones. There we go. Uh, how many of you have never seen anything I've ever done? Be honest. Be honest. How many of you just don't care, you're sick of watching acts and you'd rather be sitting at the bar doing something else? We have an honest audience, that's great, wonderful. But thank you guys so much for having me back, this is fantastic. There was, a, there was actually an article in the local newspaper uh, where I'm from, Newcastle, Pennsylvania, about this convention. See, we must be famous out here. Famous all over Pennsylvania. But then, I'm kind of a cheapskate. I don't want to go buy a new newspaper because, uh, <laughs> My money, it's uh, burning a hole in my pocket, my cash, so, yeah, literally. Hey, if I put my wallet in my jacket, it turns into a blazer. I take it off, it's a smoking jacket. Okay, no more of that. But anyway, I didn't want to buy a new newspaper, so I thought, I'm a magician. We've already established that I'm a jish. So assuming I have an audience that pays very close attention, I can gather up each individual piece of the newspaper. I can put them together. One important thing while you watch me on stage, magicians are sneaky, I lie for a living, so you have to watch my hands very, very closely. Make sure my fingers don't leave my wrists, make sure my elbows don't leave my arms, and if this works properly, ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe your eyes because the pieces will restore right back to the Hello and thank you so much for joining us for TJ and Missy's Magic Show. It seems as though time has temporarily stood still. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, then yes, it's possible. This newspaper, even after it's been torn, could restore itself back to original state. However, if TJ does perform this incredible feat, it is required that you respond with a tremendous round of applause. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. One thing I know is, this is exactly how the paper looked when I read it. It said Magic Man T.J. Hill returns to Pennsylvania. And for his second illusion, he gives his audience some visual stimulation. Can I get an ooh, please? Thank you. Can I get an ah? Can I get a wow? Thank you. That was oddly rehearsed, but good. Check it out, this is called Columns. Looks kind of cool, right? This is called fake columns, like this. It's not impressive, I know. But check it out! I will add an extra ball to the mix. That's one, that's two, that's three. Can I get an ooh? Thank you, thank you. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's... Four, yes, thank you, thank you. Feel free to applaud if you'd like. It's not illegal to be impressed in Pennsylvania. It's not. It's not. Thank you. Sorry. Would you guys like to see five balls in the air at the same time? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, five balls in the air at the same time. Here they are. Don't worry, the kids don't get it, and if they do, it's not my fault, it's yours. Continuing, are you guys ready to see some more amazing magic? I hope so. Can I get everyone's hands up like this, please? Hands up. 
Just a little flick, just a little flick like this. Yeah, if you're embarrassed, pretend no one else is around, okay? Just hands up, give me some jazz hands like this. I'm gonna hop off stage temporarily. I'm gonna come out here. She's rocking out right here. This is my girl. Your name, honey? Your name? Hi, Donna, how are you? And who are you with? I don't even see a name tag. Layton's concession. Would you mind, Donna? I noticed you have some gorgeous rings on. Donna's wearing some nice rings. One of them looks like she won a Super Bowl. It's nice. Donna, would you mind? Pretty please, if I borrowed one of your rings for an amazing illusion. Pretty please. Give her some encouragement, please. Donna, any ring you'd like. One of the most valuable or significant. Donna, we're going to try something amazing. I'm going to hold the ring high. For those of you who can't see, put your specs on. This is Donna's ring. We are going to try to make it vanish. Disappear. Go away. Donna, do you think we can do it? She has faith in me. I already told her I lied for a living, but she trusts me. Donna, I have a handkerchief. Here's how this works. Patty, can you help me out? Patty, check out the ring. Make sure it is just a ring. Check it out. Make sure it's solid. Doesn't bend. It's just a ring. Patty, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the ring, place it underneath the handkerchief. Your job, please, pretty please, is to pinch and please do not let go. Hold it really, really high above your head so everyone can see, even the people way over here. Can I get a drum roll on the tables? Drum roll, please, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. That's good, that's good, Patty. Are you ready? On three. The ring should vanish from your grasp. One, two. Three weeks ago I did this trick and it didn't work. Stop the drum roll, we need complete dramatic applause. One, two, Three, let go! Yes! Yes! And ooh from this side. And ah from that side. Thank you. Now we have to get the ring back. Missy, this is gonna get serious. Thank you. We're getting very, very serious here. Donna, you're not gonna believe your eyes. Because check it out. Two snaps and a wait. And the ring jumps back on your hand. Huh. No, that'd be a good trick though, wouldn't it? I'm just teasing. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe you believed that for even a second. I mean, I'm good, I'm not that good. I wouldn't be in Hershey, I'd be in Vegas, come on! I can't believe you believed that. That's alright. Donna, I told you we were going to get your ring to disappear. Did you hear the instructions? I never said we were going to get it to reappear. Okay? I'm just teasing. Actually, I'm not. I'm kind of stalling. Would you mind, Donna, though, if I gave you a parting gift in place of your ring? Because I don't, I don't know exactly how much money I have on me, but I do know I could get you a parting gift. If, Donna, if you look at Missy and you say, hit it, she'll play the parting gift music. She said, hit it. That's perfect. You're not going to believe it. Because check it out, Donna. I have for you something very, very valuable. It could be equal to, less than, or greater than the value of your ring. What do you think's inside, Don? Your ring? Absolutely not. Inside of this box is just another box, Don. And look, inside of this box, there is just another box. Donna, can you make your way just to the front of the stage? Because I want everyone to see what's inside of this box. Donna, what do you think it is? It's not your ring, it's just another box. It looks like this. But inside of this itty bitty box, I'll hold it high above my head so I can't do anything sneaky. I will open it up very slowly. Is this? Is this right here? Is this the same ring? Whoa! <laughs> that part of the show wasn't planned. Is that the same ring you gave me? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm teasing. There's the ring back. One more round of applause for Donna. And for Tabby Patty for helping out getting the ring. The trick half right. You made it vanish. I just have one final illusion to do. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. But I have to run out into the audience and figure out who would be susceptible to hypnosis. I don't know how many of you watched Clyde's magic up there, but he hypnotized you when he started his show. Well, magicians don't necessarily have to hypnotize. We just look at the dilation in your pupils, the expression on your face, and the emotion in your voice to see who would be susceptible. Absolutely not. I can tell that wasn't gonna work. Wait, wait! Ladies and gentlemen, I found it! Right here, I found her. What is your name? McKenna, you seem, I can see in your pupils that you have 
what it takes to be hypnotized. McKenna, can you make your way to the stage? Ladies and gentlemen, can you guys give McKenna a really big, big round of applause, please? McKenna, you can walk all the way around and up those steps. I'm going to hop right up the front. Hey, McKenna, have you ever been hypnotized before? No. All you have to do to be hypnotized is stand right in front of these two chairs. I need you to face the audience out that way and wave goodbye. They may never see you again. I'm just teasing. She's going to be fine. There you go. She's waving goodbye. McKenna, we're going to do an old classic illusion. It's called light as a feather, stiff as a bull. Have you guys heard of it? Normally done around a spooky time of year, but McKenna, here's how this works. I have two chairs, a board and a blanket. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blanket down. McKenna first, practice being as stiff as a board. Feet together, hands to your sides. There you go. Arms out to your sides like this. Freeze. Now, on three, I want you to hop. Just put your butt right up here. One, two, three, jump. Good job so far. Hands down, feet together. Keep your feet straight out at the audience like this. I love your boots. Yeah. Hands to your sides. In order for McKenna to be susceptible to hypnosis, we have to do what's called a trust fall. On three, fall straight back. One, two, three, fall. I got you, I got you, I got you. Don't worry, I got you, McKenna. I'm going to put you right here. You're going to be fine. Hands to your sides. I'm going to cast a shadow over McKenna's body. Head all the way back, McKenna, all the way back. Now, here's how this works. McKenna, I'm going to snap my fingers. I want you to close your eyes and make your mind completely blank. Not yet, not till I snap. One, two, three. Relax your head back. I'm gonna cast one more shadow over you. Feet together. Imagine yourself McKenna as stiff as a board. If this works properly, if, with enough concentration, we should be able to remove the board out from underneath McKenna and the laws of gravity will be broken. Let's prove it. Don't worry, I've done this trick like two or three times before, it should work. McKenna, eyes closed, deep breath in. Keep breath out. When? When I let go of the board, she'll stay levitating. One, two, three. Yes! You're not amazed, I can tell, that's okay. McKenna, if you can still hear me, eyes closed, deep breath in. Hold your breath. Hold your breath! Don't move! Because even if we move the board, McKenna will stay still. You guys should give her a big round of applause. Now, she will stay like that all day. Mom, you want us to leave her like that? No, we'll reverse the process. I will give her some support. Stay still, McKenna. Deep breath in. Hold your breath. You're almost done. Stay still. I'm gonna snap my fingers. Her eyes are gonna open. One, two, three. Her eyes are open. She's completely unharmed. There's not a scratch on her body. McKenna, I have to ask you. When people come up here and they go under hypnosis, they usually don't remember a thing. Do you remember anything at all? What? She was awake the entire time? That's even creepier. You have one last important thing. Hop your feet around, hop down. McKenna, stand right here. Put your arms up for this wonderful audience and take a bow, please. Thank you. I'll take a high five. You can go to that shooting soon, McKenna. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm with Blue Bar Productions. Come down and say hi at Booth R614. I'd love to come out to your fair. On behalf of Missy and I, thank you guys so much. Thanks. We'll see you again next time. TJ Hill.